India is a beautiful country, as diverse as it is large, as tragic as it is hopeful, and as ancient as modern. Just 60 years since celebrating its independence, India still teems with tradition and spirituality, just as it is racing towards new economic and technological prowess. The provision of health care and health standards exists in India with similar polar opposites. A terrifying lack of medical resources, a third of the population living below poverty, and an HIV AIDS rate that skirts epidemic proportions are just some of the conditions that exist side by side with advanced levels of care for some. Direct Relief International's role is to try and level the playing field by providing for those with the greatest need due to lack of financial resources or due to geographic isolation. The way in which we help is by providing aid to those who are doing the best work in the most charitable way and by listening to people in the communities and asking them what is most needed. One of Direct Relief's current projects is on the small island of Pulakat, one of the many areas devastated by the recent tsunami. After providing financial resources to build, equip, and staff the island's first healthcare facility, Direct Relief went back to the island to provide the same resources for a mother and child healthcare facility. On my recent trip to India, I was honored to participate in the ritualized foundation stone laying ceremony. Included in the ceremony were a decent sized garland, a shawl, decorated bricks, as well as offerings of fruit, fire, and incense for good luck and good health. This project addresses the need for rebuilding after the tsunami, as well as for providing health care to communities that have been underserved for too long. Another project I was able to participate in was a primary health care checkup for children at a village school. Women and children tend to comprise the most vulnerable communities, as well as those with the least access to health care. So this outreach program, run by the Bidita Trust, took it upon itself to provide a health care checkup, as well as follow-up care where required, for every child in the village. When the traditional ways of receiving care are unavailable and patients have no money, one of the few places children can turn to are locally run, donation-driven, non-profit organizations such as this one. Finally, I spent a few days at a medical camp where over 25,000 patients lined up to be seen by the more than 300 doctors that came from all over the world to volunteer their expertise in the more than 30 medical specialties that converged under one roof. Here, in the small, poor village of Bidida in India's northern, desert-like state of Gujarat near the Pakistan border, the medical camp is an oasis where doctors like this cardiac specialist are able to discern that patients like this boy need special medical attention when otherwise it would never have been known. This camp, like so many others we work with, not only provides free health care for the patients, but they help care for, house, and feed them and their families that come with them. Once again, living at this camp, I was reminded how lucky I am to be able to take advantage of the simple pleasure of showing up at a doctor's office for my annual checkup.